there, it's Pete Thorne, welcome to my studio. It's red, it's blue, sometimes it's one, sometimes it's the other. From Sherlock Amplifiers, heralding from Australia, these guys are. Uh, it's the Distortion 3 High Voltage All Tube Distortion Pedal. Look at that, there's three tubes in that sucker. I don't think I've ever seen a uh, pedal with three tubes in it, but this one has three tubes, runs at high voltage, it's got a 12 volt power supply, and it gets pretty warm because it's got tubes in it and it's cooking. So you know it's doing good stuff to your tone. Um, you heard on all the guitar parts on that track at the beginning of the video. Really, really cool sounding uh, distortion pedal with a wide range of gain. This pedal has a, a kind of like a modern sound to me. Like when I think of the amplifiers maybe I would compare it to, it would be like Saldano or Engel or you know Mesa Dual Rectifier or that kind of thing. Um, real kind of grindy, full sound. Not really like that Plexi thing or AC30 or anything like that. If I had to compare it to a vintage amp, it would be high watt uncompressed, real full, and that's the kind of, those are the amps that it makes me think of, and it definitely is kind of an ampish distortion pedal. I mean, look at it, it's a three tubes, high voltage situation. Uh, this has nothing in common with like a TS9 or something like that. This has definitely got, you know, it's meant to be run into a clean amp, I would say, and, uh, and you know, kind of turn your, your, your single channel clean amp into a, a full three channel kind of rig. So what do we got here? Um, two full sets of controls for the rhythm channel and for the lead channel. You got a uh, volume, treble, mid, bass, and gain for each channel. And then there's the bypass switch here and then, then the switch to toggle between the, uh, the, the two different channels. Now on the back, there's a few controls here. Um, there's some dip switches that you can flip. And what these do is, uh, well, let's see, they're labeled, um, the first switch is gain boost bias for the lead channel. And then the second switch is uh, gain reduction for the lead channel. So that's kind of like a, the gain uh, gain boost bias. When you click it up, I find it gave more gain and more saturation. With it in the down position, it's just kind of like a nice gainy uh, uh, sort of mid to high gain sound. But if you need more gain, and I did use it on the solo on the song at the beginning of the video, I'll kick that switch on to get kind of maximum tons of saturation. Uh, the, the range is there, you know, but and then if you want to reduce the gain, get kind of maybe a little bit more of a vintage type gain, you can do that. Uh, then uh, the three and four dip switches here are gain reduction for the rhythm channel or gain boost cap for the rhythm channel as well. So you can just kind of fine tune the gain of the pedal really using these little dip switches and they provide you a little mini screwdriver to kind of get in and, and flip those switches. Uh, then there's two pots here that are recessed and those you can also use the screwdriver to adjust and that's for high frequency adjust for both the lead and rhythm channels now i found that really really handy because i was able to use the bright switch on my pt100 on the clean channel that's the amp i was playing through and so i got a nice real bright sparkly clean sound but then when i kicked in the pedal it was just too much too much top end so i went in there and fine-tuned those uh, uh high frequency trim pots and i just dialed them back a bit and then i was able to get a really really cool sound so that's what you're hearing in this video i've dialed the the, the two pots back to match my amp and uh you know you'll you'll, you'll hear when i bypass the, uh, the the pedal got a nice real sparkly clean sound uh, and then, you know, when I kick in the, the distortion, it's nice and clear, but it's not like overly shrill or like too much presence or anything like that. Really cool. Okay, so what I want to do is solo a couple of the parts from the song at the beginning of the video outside of the mix. You can check those out. Also, what I want to do is use my TC Ditto looper to play some guitar loops through the pedal. Uh, so that that's going to leave my hands free to turn the controls and show you kind of the wide range of gain. And, and the tone controls are real powerful, real active. Uh, so I'm going to show you that as well. All right, let's get on with it.
Hope you enjoyed that. Hey, it's the Distortion 3 from Sherlock Amplifiers, high voltage tube distortion. Uh, great modern tones coming out of this pedal, and if you've got a clean amp and uh, you need to get some grind, this could be a great, great option to turn your clean amp into a full three channel rig. You can check it out further at that website you see there on your screen, and hey, come back and see me for more videos real soon. I am Pete Thorne, over now. out.